Well, we are here ready to kick off another season here with our Journeyman Save Football Manager 21. We have sold $134 million worth of players, and we have not spent that much bringing new players in. So let's roll the intro, get into the final bit of transfer news, and then we play Liverpool to kick off the season. Hey guys, RC here. Welcome back. Episode 25 of our Journeyman Save with Club 3, Leicester City. And we are in Europe this year, so very good qualifying. I think we're in Europe this year. Or am I confusing that with my other save? Yeah, the Euro Cup. Yeah, that's right. That's right. I thought I had it right. Uh, so anyway, let's jump in and knock out transfers real quick. So we have gone back. I'll just go back to refresh you from last episode. So there are the end of season moves. Uh, Gomez Santos going out. Andre Mikatin going out. Kowalski going out. That brought in uh, about $100 million for those three players last season. Uh, we then brought in uh, Julian Leon, Felipe, Cedric LeCompte, and Fred Impassi. So, and then a couple of free guys that are actually going to be pretty good, I believe. One of them was a wonder kid. I think this Staty Stajadan Dalibor. There we go. <laughs> so, let's take a look at who went out in the current season. You can see we have a long list. Most of them are loanies, but Kowalski we knew about. Uh, Manuel Chasson, uh, his deal went through with Swindon, twenty-three and a half million. Uh, Jan Gomez goes to Freiburg for 11 and a quarter. He was a young uh, center back, uh, 22 years old. We really needed to move some foreign players. I've gotten too heavy in bringing foreign players in and letting some of my English players go. So I'm actually over the uh, 17 or 15 cap. So we'll have to address that and probably fork out some cash at some point. In fact, right now I'm having my scouts look at every English player 15 to 17 years old and see if there's anybody that we can poach, basically. Uh, Pablo Maney, we brought him in a while back, uh, 21 years old. We paid 2.7 for him when we bought him from Sevilla, and he just never broke in. I mean, you know, he was loaned out a bunch of times. So we sell him on to the LA Galaxy and the MLS for $16 million. So a nice profit there. Uh, Didi goes off for 5.75, 20-year-old Spanish player. Again, not bad, but, you know, just never never was going to get in. 625 is what we paid for him, so we make a nice little profit on him as well. Felix, really hated to sell him, but he goes to Olympiacos for $45 million, uh, the 24-year-old right back. Uh, just again, we we switched right the year after we signed him. We went to the three back set, and there was just no place for him. And you know he just never developed into a center back. So we paid twenty seven. We sell him for thirty six. So again, we make a nice profit. We do lose a good player. And then the rest of those, Rui Ramos uh, goes to Lille for seven hundred and fifty thousand, which is. Almost his monthly salary, so they're paying about 80% of his wages. On the incoming side, we'll just kind of refresh your memory on a couple of these guys. Dalibor, uh, yeah, we're just going to call him Dalibor. <laughs> he's a center back, five star potential. Uh, he's pretty decent already, six foot four, but uh, he's going to be for the future. Uh, Cesar, uh, he is a striker, number 10. My problem with him, and he's going to be like Ramos, I had to promise him that he could play striker as a deep-lying forward, and he's not going to play there. He's going to play number 10, and if he complains too much, we'll try to sell him on. Five-star potential. Uh, really do like him. He is a wonder kid. Christian comes in on a free. Uh, he's another striker for depth, 19 years old, three-and-a-half-star. Probably will never make the squad, but we got him at a at a reasonable price. 
and hopefully we can sell him for a big profit down the road. Uh, Juan Pedro Suarez, uh, we got him on a free four-star potential, uh, six foot two, huge jumping reach. I think he could be in the mix or at least be depth at center back. And then we get into a couple of guys that are going to actually play for us. Aminu Belfour, uh, left winger, five-star potential, three-star current, 21-year-old German capped at the U-20 level, and he is steadily improving across the board right now. Uh, came up through the uh, Bellefeld uh, system in Bundesliga 2, and he looks really good. So I think he's going to start and probably replace Wheel on the left side. I like Wheel. You know, he's been very, very productive out there. George Alexander, he comes in on loan. Uh, he can be a number 10 central midfielder, and but we did sign him as a squad player, so he doesn't have to start. So that's good. And Heidi Ayari comes in from Mets for $7.75 million. He is a 6'2 center back from France, four-star potential. Again, not bad. Already has great heading and tackling ability. Marking decent enough. Probably not for upper end Premier League, but mid mid table, sure. And this is a guy that either he can develop a little bit more, get much better, or we can sell him for money down the road. We've got him listed out for loan. Uh, if we take a look at our schedule, there's our friendlies. We have won every match in the preseason. Four uh, one over Can. Uh, 8-1 over San Jose, 6-1 over San Diego as we romp through the MLS, a 4-0 clean sheet over Orange County, 4-2 against Rangers as we returned home for training camp. That was great, and Udinese 6-2 win, and you can see Graves, Mark, Ramos, Vitor, uh, some of the big names. Vitor still going to be on the bench. Uh, if we take a look, well, let's go ahead and just get into the match for today. We're playing Liverpool. First match of the season, so no highlights today. We're going to be going with Solis in goal, a back three of Licka, Fowler, and Hildon. Baffer getting his debut on the left. Felipe uh, in the middle will be making his debut. Uh, and we're, we've switched him over uh, from a ball-winning midfielder to a deep-lying playmaker. Jasufi moves over to the right side and assumes the box-to-box -box role. And Romain is going to drop back to the right wing and replace Pascarello out there. And that leaves Mensa on the bench as depth. Nothing I can do about that. Uh, Cesar, we're going to put in the number 10 role, and Graves and Mark up top. I wonder, I'm going to make him an attacking midfielder. Drop him back just a touch, but let him make runs. I think he's got the ability to do that. It's a little bit better. I don't think I've ever played with that role. But uh, then we're going to go with Graves and Mark up top, our returning striker tandem. Uh, they've, the, the assistant coach is trying to convince me to bench Graves in favor of other people, but uh, not going to happen. We have brought El Batabi back from loan. He will be our deputy this year. Uh, we've loaned out the other goalkeeper that was our deputy that never played last year. Uh, we have McNeil, Rowe. Uh, Gerver, Mensa on the bench, George Alexander, the one in on loan, and Impasi, uh, Mapasi, the uh, new guy, uh, will be hopefully making his debut at some point, but he is not going to start for us. All right, we're opening at home against Liverpool, so don't forget last off, this past offseason they did announce the new stadium with the weird name. Uh, again, I am not sure what is going to be uh, who that guy is, and I'm not going to Google it. So if you guys know, let me know in the comments. But I showed you the name of the stadium, so. All right, there's one over the top. Oh, Romain goes up to do a flick on header, and there is a whistle, and it looks like it's going to be a penalty. VAR is going to check that, I am sure, and there it is. What's the decision there, Mr. Referee? And we do get the penalty. Who's going to take it? Our first penalty of the year, it's going to be Jamie Romaine. Oh, it's saved. Oh, that's not good. That's not a good start to the season. I don't like the indicator there. 
not happy. Oh, Romaine's going to be devastated. Hopefully that doesn't affect him too much. Well, he's still in good spirits, playing a 6-8. But boy, we let that opportunity get away. Uh, Solis just misplayed that ball, and it hit the woodwork. Came off the crossbar. I have no idea how he did not see that ball. So I am not happy with that. We do have seven shots to two, but only two on target. Romaine takes a long throw. That one gets lumped out, and they've got a big counter opportunity wow. here. Jasufi's making the run back defensively, and he cuts off the angle and gets it back up the field, but there's nobody there. He just plays a bad ball out. Oh my goodness, and that one goes past Solis at the back post, and Ramadani gets the first goal of the season, and the first goal that we have conceded. That was not... We are going to demand more. We need, uh, we need a little bit better than that, fellas. Just a little bit. So they're playing with a higher tempo now. After the match, I do want to jump into the season preview so you can see where everybody is supposed to finish. All right, here's Cesar. Oh, he gets tackled away. Mm. I need better performance there, sir. Oh, look at him and Felipe switching spots. I like that. Oh, there's a tackle away, but we can't get to it. Balf Baffer is on it. Oh, he was looking for Graves. Romaine up the side. It's in, and oh, what a save by Macamba. Oh, that should have been another goal. We're letting these opportunities go missing. And that one's headed right into Macamba's hands. But at least it was on target. Uh, let's see. I'm going to point the finger. All right, we've got somebody that was nervous. I think that was Mark. Cesar struggling. Baffer makes a run here. Shows his pace. I like it. Down to the touch line, and he's taken down in the box, and there's going to be another penalty. And we're going to have to convert this one because we're not showing much in the way of finishing these chances, are we? They do go to VAR, but there is a penalty. And I believe it'll be Romain stepping up again. No, it's Baffer. He said, I earned this one. I'm taking it. And he slots it in at the corner. I like it. You got to love his commitment, his desire, his passion, and he's got a debut goal. Very, very good. He earns the penalty, takes the penalty, converts the penalty, and we're equalized. Leicester won, Liverpool won. 17 shots to 6, a 3.18 to 0 0.60 XG. All right, let's uh, go in and make a sub. I'm about 10 minutes over my subage time, but Cesar's struggling. Uh, let's bring on Mapasi for his debut in that number 10. Felipe, let's bring on uh, Luke Rowe in the midfield there. And I'm going to change him to a box-to-box. -box. No, I'm not, because he's a box-to-box. -box. He could play something else, though, can he? Let's make... Oh, you know what? Hold on. Let's go back to the deep-lying playmaker, and then we'll just swap these two guys. I like that. I like that a lot. Okay. Anything else? Do we want to pull the trigger? I wasn't even look I was looking at ratings. I wasn't really looking at who's tired. Let's revisit this. I would like to get those guys off, but all right, Cesar. Tell you what, let's move Cesar up top for Mark. I do want to bring Mapasi on for his debut. Romaine for Mensa and Baffer for nobody. All right, you're gonna have to play through. Yasufi or Luke Rowe. Yep, I'm good with that. Now, Cesar wants to play as a deep-lying forward on attack. 
We'll do that. So we're going to pull all three subs here in the 71st minute. Baffer's going to just have to muscle through it. We're hoping to get the three points here, but we'll have to see. All right, there's a good run, and what a through ball by Mensa. Graves. Oh, how did he miss that? Oh, that was in 99 out of 100 times last season when he led the Premier League in scoring. Um, let's demand more. We are going to let this slip away. I cannot believe it. Ooh, man. I saw that one going in. I saw that one going in. Three minutes of stoppage time. Will we be happy with a point? I don't think so. I, th I think we were the better side. I wasn't impressed with Cesar on his debut. Mapasi played a 6-9, although we didn't see anything from him. 23 shots to 9, 11 to 5 on target. Look at the XG dominance. The missed penalty killed us. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I'm going to go hands on hips. Uh, I'm going to say you were unlucky because we should have won that game. All right, we have to pay Chelsea 3.6 for Aaron Fowler's 50th appearance for us. Jumping into the competition. So just to kind of remind you guys, we are expected to reach the fourth round of the Carabao, the fifth round of the FA, and the second knockout round of the Euro Cup. And in the English Premier, we're supposed to avoid relegation. And the season preview has us in 16th position. So definitely avoiding relegation. Should be, you know, pretty handily, I would think. Everton, Middlesbrough, and Norwich are the ones favored to go down. Tottenham looks like they should have a good first year back up in the league. All right, well, since we do have quite a few guys, we do have quite a few matches, however, uh, cup, cup matches. FA Cup starts in January. The Euro Cup starts when? Oh, September. So that's the group stage. So we'll definitely be back for that. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to play, just play off camera, uh, see when that Euro Cup comes in, and that's when we'll come back. We'll probably focus mostly on cup matches this year, at least for the duration that we're in the cups. Uh, the Carabao, I'm not so worried about, but FA Cup and the and the Euro for sure. And we'll we'll look at those. Those will be our pr primary matches this season. And then uh, assuming that we get eliminated from them, then we'll go back into watching the league. But, of course, as always, we'll keep you guys up to date with highlights and checking out the table and everything else. Uh, let me know in the comments what you guys think of our signings. Who do you think has a chance to be a big impact player? I'm looking at Baffer myself. Uh, but I'd also certainly like to see either Cesar or Mapasi step up really big in that role. Because if I don't see anything from them, uh, I definitely see Romain moving back up to that number 10 and Menza or Pascarillo back out on that right wing. So, uh, yeah, we need to see something there. And I certainly want to see some development. Gerver's only 20 years old, but. I need to see a little bit more development from him to be pushing to crack that starting lineup. Uh, but I fit, need to figure out who my low man is here and potentially rotate Gerber in with them to get some playing time. And that might be Aaron Fowler. Of course, he's the only English player, and we need to really be careful with those guys. Uh, if we take a look at registration, I believe it tells me here. Uh, yeah, I don't, you know, well, I don't know. We must have traded somebody out, so that's going to need to, and I'm having to put under 21 guys in here just to get to that, because I think I'm only at 11 or 12, so is what it is. But, yeah, there's something about English players, and I'm I'm short. I, I don't have the max, so we're going to end up having... When these guys start hitting 23 and they're or 22, 23, and they're not U21 anymore, and I have to register them, we're going to have an issue, <laughs> and we're going to have to sell a lot of a lot of foreign players, I think. But anyway, hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, 
And uh, don't forget, hitting the like button tells me you want to see more and you like what I'm doing. That's how you support the channel. And uh, Monday through Saturday, I do have daily football manager content. Take care, guys. Bye.